Today, I had a Funko Pop arrive two years early. So let's get started. Twenty twenty four, here we go. And no, I'm not lying. When I pre-ordered this, it actually said it was gonna be arriving in 2024, but I thought, surely not, so I ordered it anyway. And honestly, with the way that Amazon has shipped in the past, it could have been then. And now, alrighty, everybody, here it is. It's a Pop VHS cover, and it's one that I wanted in my collection, probably the most out of any of them. You guys might have seen a little while ago, I got the Beauty and the Beast one, but now I have the Lilo and Stitch one, the Amazon exclusive. Look at how amazing this thing is. Oh, and I just noticed on the bottom here there is a slight rip in the corner but the good news is i take these things out anyway so who really cares and actually speaking of taking them out of the box let's do it now because i really do want to see what this thing looks like and wow i am loving the way they did the wave on the back with stitch on the surfboard it really does look nice oh and you know what this reminds me of a long time ago and i believe i still have it i remember i dropped it at one point but anyways what i'm talking about is a long time ago when i went to the disney store they actually had an ornament that looked pretty much exactly like this and I've put it on my tree every year since, and I'm probably gonna have to pop it on my normal tree this year. Well, actually, last year would have been the first year I didn't do it because Funko came out with ornaments, so I did all of the pop ones as well as the U2 stuff. So maybe this year we'll have to throw it on the tree again if I can find it. And I hope somebody knows which ornament I'm talking about. They used to have it at the Disney store. I maybe got it like, ooh, I wanna say like five or six years ago now, maybe even longer than that. But I digress, and this was definitely a cool thing to get in the mail, especially two years early. Hold on, before we continue the video, I have to let you guys know that the Top Pops, whoop, the Top Pops plushie is only available for another 24 hours. So if you guys are thinking of picking up me for your collection, go to the link in the description down below, because if you don't, it's gone forever. Now, next up, I've got these two sodas that I want to crack open. They are the Boba Fetts, the comic Boba Fetts that were exclusive to Star Wars Celebration. And now, I had actually purchased four of these. Two of them we're going to be opening up today, and then the other two I'm saving for my big soda Star Wars video. Sto uh, Star Wars soda video, you know what I mean. And so I'm hoping inside of these two we get that chase, and then maybe in the other two we'll get another chase? I don't know. But anyways, let's get into these first ones here and find out what we're going to be getting. And I know that the chase for this one is glow in the dark, so it's going to be kind of hard to tell right away, but I'll try my best. <gasps> I think I got it. I actually think I got the chase. It feels a little bit rougher because that's what glow in the dark paint is. I think it's the chase. Okay, this is actually gonna be crazy if it is. And I did! You found the chase, Boba Fett glow in the dark limited to one out of 1,600. I mean, come on, that's some good luck. Oh, right. I totally forgot about this guy. So with the Boba Fett chase, it's actually supposed to look like a hologram and he glows completely blue. And I thought that was kind of crazy for Funko to do, especially because they've never done it where it's kind of like this glow over top of the normal paint. Usually it's just like whatever color the paint is, that's the color it glows. But this is definitely unique. And no, I had actually ordered all of these from mypops.ca and I don't know if they came from one case or two cases, so you never know, there could be another chase inside of here, but also I would just like to get that comment. It's just too bad that the only difference with this figure is the fact that it glows, so they look very similar on my shelf. And now let's find out here, and I believe that this one is, yep, just the common, but still, it looks amazing. And if I'm gonna be honest, the common one, when it's not dark, looks a lot better than the glow in the dark because the colors are a little bit more vibrant. Alrighty, now the next stuff that I've got you guys probably saw on my Instagram. And if you guys don't follow me there, you wouldn't have got a sneak peek on today's video. So definitely check me out at Top Ops YT. And inside of here is a couple different things that I picked up from Walmart. Well, obviously. And anyways, let's get into the first thing here, which is the Black Adam comic cover. This here is seriously amazing, especially because it does glow in the dark. And I really want to take this thing out to see what that figure looks like a little bit closer up. And I was thinking of putting this one on my wall with the rest of the comic covers, but then I saw that Funko announced a Stan Lee one. So I'm probably going to be saving a spot for him just because it's too special, I got to. Alrighty, now this is looking amazing. Like seriously, take a look at this. What does it say? Justice League of America. Oh, interesting. So it says Justice League of America, but then it's covered over with the Black Adam number one logo. And then there he is in the front. I'm guessing all of the lightning glows. Seriously crazy. Okay, so I was right about the glow on this, but the difference is the eyes also glow. And it seems like the eyes glow a little bit better than the lightning, but you can kind of see both. And I'm gonna be honest, looking at it on camera, the eyes look way better than the lightning, but in person, you can definitely see that they both glow. Oh, and I didn't even mention that while I was at Walmart, they had a massive Black Adam section, and apparently I was the first person to get to it. And when I got there, I ran into this, another Black Adam glow-in-the-dark chase. 
I don't know how I was able to find a second one of these, but I'm thinking for this one here, because I do already have it in the collection, I'm going to be giving it away to you guys. And I've talked about this a bit, but I do have a whatnot stream coming up where I'm going to be doing a giant giveaway with probably like, I think at this point, it's got to be like 20 figures, something like that. It's going to be a big one. And because I was able to get this for retail, and I do already have it in my collection, I figured one of you guys would like this more than I do. Plus, the movie did just release, so it's perfect. Oh, okay, so this is a little bit different than I expected. I thought it was just going to be the lightning, very similar to the comic cover, but when you take a look at this one, it's again kind of hard to see on camera, but it's the lightning bolt as well as the lightning. Okay, there we go, guys. That's a lot better. And I'm also really enjoying the two colors. It's a nice touch. And then, everyone, the last thing I was able to get over at Walmart was something you guys were really bugging me about. I had forgot to pick up the Jack Skellington and Zero Ornament 2-pack, so I went back and grabbed one. And for anybody wondering, they did not have the chase. And now that I think about it, I need four chases instead of three because I forgot to talk about this one. If you guys don't know, Funko and Hallmark have teamed up to make a bunch of ornaments. And all of the two-packs come with a gold variant, which is the chase or limited edition, like Hallmark's calling it and I'm really hoping to get one of each so I can have every single one of the ornaments in my collection. Oh, and while I was reading the comments on the original video where I picked up all of the ornaments, you guys were letting me know that the Freddy Funko one still hasn't released, and that's another one I need for my collection. And now before we move on to the next thing, if you guys want to take a look at them one more time, here they are. <laughs> What am I doing? And now this here, guys, is actually something that I ordered from Whatnot. Because as you guys probably know, I wasn't able to get another one of the three liter sodas. Actually, every single one of them have had to go on the secondary market, which I'm not complaining about. It's nice that they're selling out quickly, which means they're pretty popular. Oh, check this out. Something that I did not order, but it's a nice addition. Some Funko bags. And now if you guys are curious, I ordered all of these from Uncle Funko 206. So if you guys want to check him out on Whatnot, he's got some really great stuff. And he was doing like soda case breaks with all of the D23 stuff. So that's what's inside of here. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Alrighty, this is looking good. And now I've got three normal size sodas and then one three liter one. And the cans that I got were Frozone, uh, Frozone, as well as the Philhar Magic Mickey Mouse. And now let's start by opening up the Philhar Magic Mickey. And I do want to let you guys know that I know what's inside of here already because he opened them up on the stream. And I believe that all of them were common. Yeah. And now here's the thing. It's not that big of a deal because I do have more of both of these coming. But if you guys want to check out the first one here, like I said, it is the Philhar Magic Mickey. He really does look great. And if you guys are curious, the Chase is a Diamond Edition version, which I really wish I got. And then when it comes to the Frozones, it's the exact same as Philhar Magic. I tried with two of them, didn't get a Chase, so we'll just open up one of them today. But the good news is, very similar to Mickey, the sealed ones that I ordered from the Funko Shop should be in soon. And so here we are, everybody. Let's find out what Frozone is looking like in person. And I gotta say, this is a really, really clean one. And again, it's too bad I didn't get the Chase, but hey, he still really looks nice. All right, now everybody, let's get into the big kahuna for today, the three liter soda. And I do really enjoy that he threw it in the original box that it came in from the Funko shop. And I don't think I mentioned which character it is. And some of you guys probably know, but if you don't, it is. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's Baymax. And what I love about all of these guys is that they don't have the shared stickers. It actually says D23, which is a nice bonus. And so I guess that's something, even though I didn't get a chase. And now let's see if we can pop this thing open relatively easy. I know you get to do all four of them and then it opens up. Let me see here. We almost got it, almost got it, almost got it. There we go, there's half of them. These things take forever. There we go, not too bad. And like I mentioned earlier, I only have one of this three liter soda. So maybe I'll order one in the future and I don't know what I should do. Should I order like a sealed one to try to get that chase or do I just straight up buy the chase? Because it is kind of expensive to get a sealed one and what if I get a common again? So I'm thinking of maybe just shelling out that little bit extra doing the chase. Let me know what you guys think. And anyways, let's get into this one for today, which like I said, is the common. And seriously, it is an amazing one. I love how big these guys are. And I also really enjoy how Funko's doing characters that make sense. And I'm hoping that we get Hiro Hamada in the future. I would love to have him a little bit smaller standing right next to him. And if you guys want to know what the chase is for this one, it's actually Baymax with a cat in his hand, the hairy baby. And now let's take a look at the paws because seriously, these things are massive. Wow, look at this thing, guys. So on one side, it says Baymax. Then on the other, it's got what it's limited to. So one out of, what is it, 4,200? Yeah, and if you guys want to take a look at the normal size pog versus the three liter one. Let me see if I can grab the Frozone here. Jeez, it is tiny compared. Like seriously guys, here is the Baymax one and then here is Frozone. Like pretty much double or even triple the size. And so there you go guys, that is everything for today. And I know that it was a lot of random stuff, but I honestly did not know where to put any of it in different videos. And let me know if you guys enjoy the style of video where I open up random packages and show you guys things that I picked up that didn't make it into a video. And anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow.